Hey, what's up guys? So nowadays you are probably all familiar with Olama, the open source project that lets you run LLMs on your local machine. Today I'm not going to talk about Olama in general, as I was saying, but I'm going to show you how to generate a custom version of an Olama LLM. In particular, we are going to generate a customized version of Llama 3.2. At the beginning of this video, I was going to use Llama 3.3 because it's the latest model uh, released by, by Meta AI. But I mean, it's a 70 billion model. So, so yeah, my, my laptop was going to burn in the process. And that's the reason why I decided to use Llama 3.2. Okay, so the process, as you will see, it's really simple. It involves modifying a file called the model file and in less than 30 lines of code, 30 lines in this file, we are going to generate a fully functional LLM that in this case is going to emulate Joe Rogan in the Joe Rogan experience. So my idea is to make this LLM behave as a podcast interviewer. Okay, so uh, before we begin, I just wanted to mention that I'll be using this uh, UI, this front-end interface for, for Olama. It's called Open Web UI, and you can uh, configure the, the interface very easily using the GitHub repo. In my case, I'm just going to uh, containerize this application, this front-end interface, and run it on my local machine. Um, you can see it here that it's going to, to open um, locally on my machine. And if you manage to install and to make it work, you will see something like this, uh, which is very similar to ChatGPT, if you ask me. And, and yeah, and here we can start talking with our LLMs. Let me show you an example talking with uh, Llama 3.2, 3 billion. This is the model that we are going to customize, but this is the original version. So hello, what's up? And it's going to take a little bit, but you will see that it behaves uh, really similarly to, to ChatGPT or to any LLM provider um, that you have uh, interacted with. So yeah, not much is here to help, but I really like this this interface for, for Llama. Uh, of course, we could, we could have used uh, the terminal for this, but I really enjoyed this visual component. Okay, so how can we generate a customized version of Olama? So as I was saying before, we will need to generate a model file just like this. And this model file uh, consists of a different set of parameters that we need to define. So the first one and the most important, this is required, is the from statement that defines the base model to use in this case, we are going to generate our model from the Llama 3.2, 3 billion parameters. Then we can define a set of parameter instructions that define a parameter that can be set when the model is run. So let me show you an example, because if we go to the Olama repository, you will see um, in the readme file a set of instructions that you can set. So if you go to the parameter section, you will see a lot of parameters that you can set. And um, many of these are probably familiar to you because these are exactly the same parameters that we can pass to many of the LLM providers out there. So the mirror stat, um, the, the size of the context window, the repeat penalty, the temperature, um, the top K, top P, mean P. I mean, many of these um, are very, very famous nowadays. And, and yeah, in this case, uh, just to show you how it works, I set the temperature to one to make it creative. Um, the size of the context window to uh, 4096, the repeat penalty to 1.4 and the top K to 50. Okay, but uh, as you saw, you have many other parameters that you can tweak if you want your LLM to behave differently. Uh, then we have the template. Yeah. I mean, this is not necessary in this case because this template information is going to be inherited from the Llama 3.2, 3 billion parameters. But still, I just wanted to show you how it works. And what you are going to do is simply to create the template of the prompt that the LLM is going to receive whenever you interact with the LLM. 
So we define the system prompt, we define the prompt of the user and the structure of the response of the LLM. Then uh, this is the important part because this is the place where we are going to tell the LLM to behave as Joe Rogan. It's the system and this is also probably very familiar to you because we are using the system prompt um, almost always when we try to interact with an LLM. And, and yeah, we define the system prompt. In this case, it's you are Joe Rogan and you're interviewing me in the Joe Rogan experience. Okay. Uh, after this, we have the message parameter that I didn't want to, to set in this case, but it lets you specify the message history or even uh, like message templates or message examples if you want your LM to talk in a specific manner. Uh, here I put two examples like a message of type assistant that tells welcome to the Joe Rogan experience and a message of type user of, of role user. Thanks Joe, uh, thanks for having me. But um, as you might imagine, you can put any message uh, as you want or even if you want some chat history to be persisted in the model file, you could also use this. And finally, um, I put here two additional options. The first option is the adapter that defines the LoRa or QLoRa adapters to apply to the model. This is really cool in case you're going to use a big model and you want to, to use some quantization or some LoRa adapters, then you can, you can use this parameter. And finally, the license in case you're going to, to share your customized model to, to, with the world you can specify the legal license in here as well. Okay, so um, I mean, as you can see, it's really easy to customize a model in a Llama. As, as I was saying, it's just uh, 30 lines uh, and even it will be 22 because from 23 ahead, it's just uh, a bunch of, of examples. Um, but now I will going to show you how we can create this using the Olama, um, the Olama commands. Okay, so in this case, we just well. Uh, by the way, I'm just uh, sitting on the on the um, on the folder that contained the model file, and what I need to do is just to Olama run Olama create, set a name to our custom LLM Joe Rogan experience, and you just need to say the model file that you need to use for this custom LM. In this case, it's called model file, but you can you could put any other name. And now we are just going to create in your case, it's possibly that it's going to to take some more time because uh, I already had Llama 3.2 installed. Uh, we can check this by using Olama list. But yeah, I already installed Llama 3.2, 3 billion, and that's the reason why it took, um, it was so fast, okay? Uh, but yeah, you can see here that we have two models, Llama 3.2, 3 billion parameters, and the Joe Rogan experience with a tag of latest, um, that it's just a customized version of, of Llama 3.2. All right, so now let's go to Open Web UI. Let's refresh. And now here we could, uh, we should be able to see our latest model, Joe Rogan experience, and we could start uh, talking with this model. So let me see. New chat. This is it. Okay. Joe Rogan experience latest. Uh, so let's say something like, hey, Joe, thanks for having me. And let's see how it goes. So now uh, we should be immersed in the experience of being part of the Joe Rogan experience. So all right, folks, welcome to another episode of the Joe Rogan experience. Today, we've got a great guest on the stage with us, points at microphone. I'm not even going to ask you who it is yet, Laos. She's Lido, have no idea what your story is, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, uh, it seems it's uh, working. Um, it even points and context uh, explanations like what he's doing right now to fully immerse ourselves in the in the experience which is really cool um i, I think it really improves the the role-playing stuff uh but yeah it seems to be working 
and this is everything i mean this is uh, this was going to be a, a short video but just wanted to to show you something that many times when people talk about olama is often um, overlooked and and yeah you can see how easily it is to create your own versions of of these models so yeah that's everything for today and i hope you have a really nice day i'll see you in the next video